When a surface is to be painted, the focus is usually on the painting process and the products involved. However, one of the most important things in any painting process is preparing the surface. There are a number of factors to consider when preparing surfaces. One must consider whether the material is metal, plastic or another. Whether the material is painted or not. Whether it has rusts or any defects. You also have to consider the geometry, the size and of course the cost. Now let us look at the different types of metal surface preparation. Degreasing. Solvent based or water based products can be used. The most common method is to use a dry cloth and a damp cloth. But there are also other types, such as a pressure gun or immersion. Manual or mechanical cleaning. This involves preparing the surface to remove rust, mill scale or other impurities that may be present. Shot blasting. Shot blasting consists of projecting a material that can be metallic or non-metallic onto the surface to be cleaned at high speed and with compressed air. Depending on the speed, size, type or material used in the shot blasting, a different level of cleanliness or roughness will be obtained. The specification will indicate the level of cleanliness or roughness required. It must also be considered that some types of paint require having a certain roughness profile to maintain adhesion. This is the case with zinc rich epoxies, thermally sprayed zinc, etc. It is the most effective system for surface cleaning and preparation, but it must be considered that after blasting, steel is highly exposed to oxidization and must be covered immediately afterwards. There are four levels established. SA1, SA2, SA2.5 and SA3 from lowest to highest cleanliness levels. There are photographic patterns for comparison. High pressure water jet. This consists of propelling water at high speed over the surface to be cleaned. It is less effective than shot blasting, but sometimes we may not want to remove all the coats of paint, and it is a more selective cleaning method. For example, in the case of epoxy paints with a decaying defect, as we have seen in this tutorial, the choice of type of cleaning will depend on the material and the type of application. The correct choice of the cleaning process and surface preparation will have a great influence on the final finish of the application, both in its efficiency and durability.